There is endless science about how subconscious beliefs create thoughts that influence our behavior, which ultimately creates our reality. Our neural pathways have been programmed to believe a certain set of stories about ourselves and our lives. And there are three negative limiting subconscious beliefs that are the most common. One, hopelessness. It's impossible to be successful in this economy. Women will just never make as much money as men. Everyone gains weight after 30. So a hopelessness belief insists that what you want is not achievable regardless of your capabilities. There's no hope that you'll achieve your desired outcome. When you feel hopeless, you won't do what it takes to become successful. You'll give up ahead of time, not follow through, or just not do other necessary things to create the life that you want. Two helplessness. I just don't have what it takes to get what I want. I'll never have success because I didn't go to college. I'll never be rich because poverty is in my DNA. A helplessness belief says that what you want is possible for everyone except for you. You are incapable of reaching your goals. The distinction of a hopeless versus a helpless belief is when you believe that you can't do it, but that others can. And finally, worthlessness. I'm not good enough. I don't deserve to get what I want. I'm not lovable. I'm not important. A worthlessness belief stems from you thinking you do not deserve to get what you want because of who you are, something you did, or something you haven't done. You just aren't worth it. So psychiatrist and Harvard Medical School professor John Sharp says that beliefs are the story you've been telling yourself about who you are and how everything always plays out for you. And his advice for changing them? One, remember that you are the editor of your own life story. So we get to choose how we view the events that happen to us. And the biggest part of changing limiting beliefs is accepting responsibility for them and acknowledging that they can be changed. Two, find the point where your story diverges from reality. So pay attention to your inner dialogue, right? Self-awareness is key. When we are faced with adversity, we default to the stories that we've been told by family, society, or people in our early life. So a good tip is to look at when you're thinking statements like, I'm always, or I never. These are flags for what your belief systems currently are. And once you pinpoint them, you can change them. Three, ask if your story is really true or a false truth. If you're someone who struggles in relationships, are you actually not enough? Are you actually too much? Or are you maybe just not with the right person? Four, think self-appreciation versus self-depreciation. So as you're doing this process, remember that it's gonna take time. You have spent literally years practicing your beliefs. You have had countless thoughts that have reinforced these limiting beliefs. So it will take time, practice, and intention to make your default go from I'm not enough to I'm worthy. You can't change this in a day unless you have a powerful mind, right? You're battling your biochemistry. You're battling deeply grooved neurology that has been your operating system for years. Five, leave your old story behind. Every time you become aware that you're running the same old program, say stop out loud, stop. This is an old story that I am releasing. And then you pivot to your new belief. Think thoughts that are aligned with the belief that you wanna have. Okay, look, I'm not gonna lie. I've been doing this work. It's very hard. It's very annoying. It's incredibly time consuming. But really think about how much better your life would be if you operated from a default of I'm worthy versus I'm not enough. Don't you think you would achieve your dreams if you internalized, I can do it versus it's not possible for me? How much more fulfilling and joyful would your life actually be if you aligned with an identity that believed you are capable and deserving of achieving anything you want? Because no matter what we consciously try to do, if we don't subconsciously believe we can achieve it, we're worthy of it, or that we can do it, we will find ways to ensure we never reach our goals. So if you want some uh, extra practical tips, I do recommend a consistent meditation practice, journaling, affirmation work, self-concept work, hypnosis, neuro-linguistic programming, going to a shaman, and going to therapy. All of these activities support self-awareness, change, and growth. I'm Anna Akana. Thank you to the patrons who supported today's video. And thank you as always to my daddy, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's episode. So Daddy Squarespace makes it easy for creators like me to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits our brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, newsletters. Plus online booking and scheduling is available, making it easier than ever for your clients to schedule your classes or your sessions. And they have easy 
easy access to your availability and can reschedule online, taking all the hassle out of your hands when it comes to coordinating calendars. If you are a content creator like myself and you use video, they have Video Studio, so you can create pro-level videos effortlessly and use their app to make and share engaging videos so that you can tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And whenever you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com Anna and use code Anna for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.